When you think of the biggest Ballon d'Or robberies ever, Wesley Snyder in 2010 probably comes to mind. But what if I told you that he wasn't even the biggest robbery that year from his own team? In 2009, Inter Milan had themselves a transfer window for the ages, signing stars like Samuel Eto, Wesley Snyder, Lucio, and more in a bid to finally challenge in Europe. But the signing that went under the radar at the time was the arrival of a 30-year-old striker signed from Genoa named Diego Melito, who'd never played a Champions League game in his life. What followed was one of the greatest individual seasons in recent memory, as Melito would go on to score 30 goals in all competitions, with a staggering 18 of them either directly winning or drawing games for Inter. In that season, no one was more clutch than Melito, as he scored the winner on the final day to win Inter the league, the winner in the cup final, and scored goals in the group stage, round of 16, quarterfinal, semifinal, and final of that year's Champions League, as Inter became the first Italian team ever to win the historic trophy. This saw him win Inter, Serie A, and UEFA Player of the Year. But where did Melito finish in that year's Ballon d'Or? he didn't even get nominated. Drogba said it best, 